according to the Job Openings and Labor Turnover Survey, or JOLTS, U.S. employers had 9.9 million available job positions in February, down from 10.6 million in the previous month. This is the lowest number of vacancies since May 2021. This is below all estimates in a Bloomberg survey of economists. This suggests a cooling in labor demand in some industries, but the job market is still too tight for the Federal Reserve. However, the figures can be volatile on a monthly basis, but they suggest labor supply and demand are moving into better balance. Further progress is needed, particularly in the service sector, to help alleviate wage pressures. The Fed has to address enduring strength in the job market as it seeks to bring inflation down to its 2% goal. The JOLTS report also showed that the so-called quits rate, which measures voluntary job leavers as a share of total employment, edged up to 2.6%. That equates to about 4 million Americans. Quits increased in business services, accommodation and food services, and wholesale trade. The ratio of openings to unemployed people slid to 1.67 in February, the lowest since November 2021, from almost 1.9 in the prior month. Fed officials watched that ratio closely and have pointed to the elevated number of job openings as a reason why the central bank may be able to cool the labor market, and therefore inflation, without an ensuing surge in unemployment. Looking ahead, the recent turmoil in the banking sector is expected to prompt lenders to further tighten credit conditions, something that's expected to curb consumer spending as well as stifle business investment. Given companies tend to freeze hiring before initiating layoffs, the JOLTS report will be a key indicator of labor market strength in coming months.